China and Southeast Asian countries are jointly building an ambitious railway network which is considered one of the largest regional railway cooperation projects in the world. Currently, the network includes four major railway lines connecting countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, and Laos. This major project aims to promote intra-regional trade and tourism and strengthen economic ties between China and Southeast Asian countries. As of now, some railway projects have been completed and started operating, while others are on hold for various reasons. In today's discussion, we'll take a closer look at the potential impact of these rail lines on regional economic development as well as their current construction progress. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. First, let's take a look at the China Laos Railway. As the first important project to be implemented in the Pan Asian Railway Plan, it has attracted much attention since its construction started in May 2010. This railway stretches from Kunming, Yunnan Province, China, to Vientiane, the capital of Laos, with a total length of approximately 420 kilometers. It is an important transportation link connecting the two countries. In this ambitious project, the construction of the section from Kunming to Yushi took five years. By 2016, the construction of the Yushi to Mohan section and the Mohan to Vientian section was fully launched. After five years of unremitting efforts and hard work, this railway was finally officially opened for operation on December 3, 2021. Although the total investment in this project is as high as 6 billion US dollars, the China Laos Railway has had a profound impact on the economic and trade exchanges between China and Laos since its opening. According to the latest data, within nine months of the opening of the China Laos Railway, the cumulative cargo transported reached 7.17 million tons, of which cross border cargo reached 1.28 million tons. What is even more remarkable is that the total value of international freight transported by this railway has exceeded 10 billion yuan. Now, the operation of the China Laos Railway not only promotes economic and trade exchanges between the two countries, but also has a significant impact on Laos economic growth. Since the operation of the railway, Laos GDP has averaged an annual growth rate of 6.7%, which is far higher than the average level of other Southeast Asian countries. Second, China-Cambodia Railway. As construction of the China-Laos Railway begins one after another, China has extended the railway to Cambodia. According to the plan of Chinese railway companies, they will invest approximately 30 billion yuan to build an important part of the railway network connecting China, Laos and Cambodia and name this railway project the China-Cambodia Railway. From the map, the China-Cambodia Railway will connect with the China-Laos Railway connecting the Cambodian border to Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia, with a total length of approximately 383 kilometers. At present, Chinese railway companies will use China's standard gauge to re-expand Cambodia's original railways. Both parties are still working hard to build the railway and it is expected that the railway will be successfully completed and open to traffic in four years. Once the railway is completed, it will help Cambodian trains increase their speed from 30 km per hour to 160 km per hour. More importantly, the China-Cambodia Railway will realize railway interconnection between Cambodia, China and Laos, forming a transnational railway network with a total length of approximately 1,154 kilometers. Third, China-Myanmar Railway. As a key country in Southeast Asia, Myanmar has naturally become a partner that China cannot ignore. As early as 2010, China had planned a grand project to build a railway connecting Kunming and Yangon, Myanmar's largest city. The total length of this railway is about 1,920 kilometers, of which the section from Kunming to Rueli in China is 690 kilometers long. This project meant that the railway construction team had to overcome numerous difficulties and cross countless mountains and rivers to complete the construction of the railway. 
Faced with these challenges, Myanmar initially showed a relatively passive attitude towards cooperation. However, Myanmar's attitude changed as it witnessed the significant benefits brought by improved railway systems in neighboring Laos. In mid-June 2023, China and Myanmar restarted discussions on railway construction and reached a positive intention to cooperate. So far, railway construction in China and parts of Myanmar has been completed. It is expected that by 2026, the China-Myanmar railway will be fully completed and put into operation. In view of the current progress, it can be expected that the construction of the China-Myanmar railway will proceed smoothly, which will undoubtedly bring closer economic and cultural exchanges between the two countries. Fourth, China-Vietnam Railway. As a key country in Southeast Asia, Vietnam once planned to build a China-Vietnam railway across the country with China. However, due to internal instability in Vietnam, the construction plan for this railway was put on hold for a long time. But as time progressed to June 2023, Vietnam decided to rejoin China's Grand Pan-Asian Railway Plan. After in-depth negotiations and discussions, Vietnam decided to spend 5.9 billion U.S. dollars to jointly build this transnational railway with China. A major challenge for Vietnamese engineers is that the route of the China-Vietnam Railway crosses complex terrain, including coastal areas and mountainous terrain. In this project, they need to build up to eight tunnels and 32 bridges. Notably, bridges and tunnels account for 68% of the total mileage, indicating that this railway will be a world-class engineering challenge. However, these difficulties do not seem to be an obstacle for China, which is technologically sophisticated. This ambitious railway project has begun and is expected to be completed by 2027. It will become one of the most advanced railways in the Indochina region with a designed maximum speed of 160 km per hour and the ability to carry heavy freight trains. Once open to traffic, this railway will not only run through the Indochina Peninsula and connect China and Laos, two important economies, but will also become an important link in the Pan-Asian Railway Network. Fifth, China-Thailand Railway. As the economic ties between Thailand and China continue to deepen, Thailand has frequently shown goodwill to China, hoping to strengthen cooperation between the two parties. Among them, the most representative one is the China-Thailand Railway Project. This major infrastructure project has a total investment of 11.3 billion US dollars and will be constructed in two phases. The first phase of the project, namely the Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima section, is 253.2 kilometers long and involves excavation of roads and tunnels. The excavation work involving roads and tunnels will be undertaken by Thai companies, while various parts of the train system will be implemented by the Chinese side. The second phase of the project starts in Nakhon Ratchasima, passes through many cities such as Poai, and finally reaches Nong Khai on the border of Laos and Thailand. At Nong Khai Railway Station, the railway is connected to Ventian in Laos through the Mekong River Bridge, achieving seamless connection with the China-Laos Railway. The second phase of the China-Thailand Railway is approximately 356 kilometers long. The civil engineering cost is expected to reach 210 billion baht, approximately 6.2 billion US dollars, with an average cost per kilometer of approximately 80 million US dollars. According to the latest news from the Ministry of Railways of Thailand, the construction progress of the China-Thailand railway project is close to 25% and the overall construction speed is quite rapid. At the same time, the project design of the second phase of the project has been completed and its environmental impact assessment report has been submitted to the Thai Cabinet Department for review. Once all procedures are approved, the full start of construction of the second phase of the project will become a reality and the entire construction period is expected to be four years. If the project can be fully started in 2024, the China-Thailand Railway is expected to be fully opened in 2028, which will undoubtedly become an important milestone in the economic cooperation between China and Thailand.